Today I'm going to show you how to catch sheep's head. I'm going to show the gear I'm using, the bait I'm using, what type of structure I'm fishing, all of those things and probably more all throughout this video. An important tip I have is if you're not getting bites, keep moving. Don't, don't just sit in one spot and just wait for them to show up. It's better to look for them because most of the time if they're there or they're going to be there, they're there right away and they're just biting instantly. This is a 3,000 size spinning reel. It's pulled with 20 pound braid. And this rod is made by the company Toadfish. It's 5 feet 11 inches, medium, extra fast. It's specifically designed for sheep's head. It's called the Convict, made by Toadfish. And then tied with a double uni or uni to uni knot. I have 20 pound fluorocarbon leader and I have about three foot of that tied on and on that is a sheep sticker jig it's just like it's a strong weighted hook this is a 3 8 ounce and I choose my weight based on water depth and current and then on that I have a fiddler crab hook this is exactly how I hook them through the bottom out through the top of the shell make sure it's tight and the hook is exposed those are some really important parts about it. Okay, so here's something really important. We just located a sheep's head. I mean, he completely tore that up. You know, there's no doubt that it's a sheep's head. All right, so I want to drop another bait as fast as I can down there in the exact same spot where I had that bite. That's like a really important thing. Now, you have to be ready to set the hook. See? Lost another bait. I mean, that means he's down there. All right, here we go. Same spot. Now, if you were paddling, this would be a good time to anchor up by tying off to something. But I'm just gonna hold myself in place with my pedals. A lot of the times, uh, once you feel the bite, it's just, it's already too late. Because they've already stolen the bait off the hook. That's something that people used to tell me and something I learned from being out here, because it really is true. And here is a great example of why I bring one short rod so I can get up under these docks. This is great to do in the middle of a summer day when the sun is out. It's a lot cooler than just sitting under a dock. And the fish are gonna be here too. So another important thing is like how deep you're putting your bait and where you're putting it. So, I mean, you can see how close I get to the dock. I mean, you just want to have it right up against the piling. As far as how deep it is, I'm dropping it straight to the bottom. And then just reeling it up a little bit so there's no slack. So I'm fishing on or very close to the bottom. For a sheep's head, you really need a lot of fiddler crabs. Probably more than you would think. That's what will last me all day, and I could possibly go through all these today when it comes to actually catching one of these fish. Uh, your drag needs to be really tight. Like I wouldn't lock it all the way down, but you need to be able to set the hook right away, hard, and then you also have to be able to pull them off that structure so they don't wrap around it. So you need tight drag. It's super important. We do have our first sheep's head. And this is a nice one. I mean, he's fighting in the current. All right, no, it's not a nice one. But it's our first one. A uh, good thing to have is a net. I do have one. It's just I didn't want to net this small of a fish. 13 incher. He's an inch short of keeper size. First sheep set of the day, just a little 13 incher, but we're gonna get some bigger ones for sure. So in this situation, I'm using the current to my advantage by casting up current. And letting the current uh, pull my bait like onto the piling basically, right next to it. 
oh, had a small one on. Definitely was small, I didn't feel hardly any weight. But they're there. There we go. Small ones. Oh, no. You don't like to see that. That was one of those puffer fish. There we go. That's not a puffer fish. Ooh, the bigger one. He's gonna be a peeper, I bet. Look at that. Let's use this net. Looks like our first peeper of the day. Okay, I'm doing a bad job at netting them, that's for sure. Not keeping fish, but this would be our official keeper, I think. Let's see. Yep, he's a 15 incher. They gotta be 14. Good hook set though. Got them right in the lip. If you haven't seen these fish teeth, let me give you a close up. This is really crazy looking. Fish. There we go, first keeper of the day. A little 15 incher. Second fish of the day. Oh, we got a little one. Third fish of the day though. Same thing. I'm the current's going that way, so I'm casting like here, letting it float to the piling. That's the smallest one of the day, probably 10 inches, whatever. The reason why I like to fish the pilings that are like grouped up together. So there's like more of a break in the current by them because they cover more area. I don't know if I'm explaining that very well. So at least let me try to show it. Like right here, there's less current than on these sides right here. In between here, there's less current. Fish like to sit there. It's that simple. Tides are extremely important, especially when you're around here where we have, you know, six to like nine foot tides, just depending on the day. Uh, for sheep's head or pretty much any type of fish that I fish around here, like redfish, trout, flounder, I prefer lower tides. So the fact that the water is in the grass right now means I still want more water to come out before you know, I have a lot of confidence in catching fish because the lower water is going to be better. Less water, same amount of fish, so the fish are concentrated. That's the way I look at it. When the water is up in the grass, a lot of fish, not all of them, but a lot of them like to go up to the grass and start feeding in the grass or near the grass. So a lot of those sheep's head will not stay on the docks and they'll go up in the grass. So to sum it up, I prefer the lower ends of the tides when I'm targeting sheep's head. I have an outgoing tide now, but it's just a little bit too high, but it's outgoing, so it's gonna get better and better as the day goes on. And don't get me wrong, you can absolutely catch them on higher tides. And obviously it's gonna be very dependent on the spot that you fish. However, my experience has been that when you are fishing the docks, you want lower water. You want docks that hold water at low tide. Oh yeah. Ooh. Not a giant. I'd say he's probably close to keeper though. They have some Serious spikes right there. Look at that. You really get stabbed. Huh, he's 13 and a half, slightly under keeper. We got another one right away. Turn the camera off, but uh, he bit as soon as I dropped another bait. Another like borderline keeper, I'd say. Uh, yeah, boy, he's borderline. Ooh, look at that. He's barely hooked. Like 
top of the head almost, not almost not even in your mouth. Oh yeah, he's probably he's gonna keep. Not that I'm keeping him, but I just like to measure him just to get an idea. Yeah, 14 and a half. 14 and a half inch sheep's head. That's the second keeper size of the day. Maybe the fourth fish of the day, I think, too. Okay, here we go again. Same spot. I mean, usually that's how it goes. Is you can find a spot where you can consistently catch them for a while. The bite. Small one. No need to net them. Again, you gotta be careful handling them. Got him. Not a giant, I don't think. Uh, I can't tell actually. Feels pretty heavy. No, no. It's a black drum. what you can catch while you're sheephead fishing because they like the fiddlers so you want to use 20 pound fluorocarbon leader you want to tighten your drag up and when you feel the bite you got to set the hook really hard and then you also have to pull them off the structure you got to be prepared to hook into a really big one and you're not going to land it if, if you don't have your drag tight fish as close to the structure as possible uh, keep moving till you till you find where they're at. Bring a lot of fiddler crabs if you plan on fishing for them for a long time. Uh, that's about all I can think of right now. Thank you for watching.